Hi, my name is Spencer. Today we're working on my 1991 Jeep Cherokee. Uh, a couple months back, we did a long arm kit from Rough Country. We noticed a couple clearance issues. Uh, my subframe on my transmission is uh, is rubbing on my drive shaft. So I, I hit up Rough Country. They sent me a new one. We're gonna throw this bad boy in and see what happens. Hopefully, we fix my problem. So right now, I'm taking out these bolts that hold in the supporting bracket for this cross member. Zip those out using a trusty Milwaukee impact. And then this will just pop right off. And then we can do the same for the other side. There's some fuel lines in the way. So now I'm taking off these nuts that go on the transmission mount. Just it's one more thing that has to come off before we can take this brace off. And I'm just doing it by hand because our impact is not going to work for this. But uh, it's fairly easy, so we'll get these off and then uh, we'll check back in. So we just replaced this transmission mount not even two weeks ago, and it's literally split in two halves now. So. We need to replace that or figure out something because it makes no sense to just put it back on. So yeah, it's kind of frustrating. Hi, welcome back. Mm -hmm. Now I'm taking off the bolt that goes to my brace to my radius on. We'll get this boy zipped out in no time. This is the new one. Oh, would you look at that? They are different. Kinda. Slightly. So we can see where the exhaust is hitting in here. We can see where that has been marred from the front drive shaft. So on the new one that they sent us, it's exactly the same. There's no difference. I mean, the holes aren't exactly lined up, but there's no difference whatsoever. So we are just gonna do some clearancing. So I think if we cut to about here. There shouldn't be any clearance issues. So we'll take the new one. We'll mark out where we're cutting. And this one that is from his exhaust and you can see that it's all over here so what we'll probably do since it's in here too is we'll just move that and shave it down to about there so now we're going to cut and clearance this cross member so we can get all this excess material out of the way so we can resolve our um, clearance issues so yeah let's get it Coat of paint on here real quick just for this bare metal I don't want to 
let it get rusted when we're doing our stuff. So yeah, we'll, we'll throw some paint on there and then uh, get it back on the Jeep. So this is the old one. So we step over here, you can see, um, we did a lot of clearancing though. So uh, we shouldn't have any issues, which will be awesome. Right now when I go in reverse, the drive line will hit, hit the member and it sounds like a, a whole lot of not good, so. bolt we're torquing it down then we'll be good to go hopefully so we just finished torquing up everything so what happened was we took off this whole transmission brace we came in with our angle grinder and we trimmed away right here so the drive shaft should not should not make contact with that anymore we uh, cut away at the exhaust side that's pretty much clear. There's a tiny piece we can do later when I replace my trans mount. Cause as you can see right now, the whole trans still moves. But other than that, our clearance issue should be gone. So I'd call that a success. <laughs>